all of us are going to be going to people's houses a lot by ourselves. Are there ever any safety issues with that? Oh, good question to end with. A, 75% of notaries are ladies, women. Okay. So my point of saying that is you're not alone being a female in this industry. That's my first point of saying that. B, I always tell new students that if bad things happen to notaries in the field, every borrower would be required to go to the title company. Is that a fair statement to say? Like the yes. moment something bad happened, title company like, you know what? <laughs> Just joking. Y'all are coming to the title office and I don't care if you need to get PTO on a Tuesday. I'll be honest with you, right? Should you probably tell your husband, your daughter, your son where you are at eight o'clock at night? Yeah, but I would not over-concern myself with that. Here's the last reason why. Four to five people will know you're at that closing. The lender, the escrow officer, the signing service. Not right. only that, a lot of people's income is based off of you closing that loan. So my point is everyone will be available by phone. Frankly, some people will be calling during the appointment because while you're making $150, the mortgage offer is making 2,800 bucks on the closed deal and commission. That's so true. there's a lot of people vested in this closing. So it's not like you're on this weird appointment by yourself. Now, when the last point that popped in my head, and I think this should probably be the biggest thing for you to understand. You're going into the home of a vetted citizen of your community, meaning like you have to have a decent credit score, especially in this day and age of lending. So if they have a good credit score, they're semi-responsible. They have to have a job. They're, you, you, they can't get a loan. They're responsible enough to hold the job. They have to have enough savings in their bank account to justify the loan amount, which is called reserves. So you know they're responsible enough to save money. So my point is, there's a level of upstanding citizenship they have just by being approved for a mortgage. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. They're not going into a renter's house. And so most people who buy homes, it's not, not all the time are in the better parts of town. And so it's not necessarily you're going into the parts of town where you shouldn't be at eight o'clock because most of those are renters. And so my point is, it's really understanding that people know where you are. You're going to someone who's been vetted to a certain degree, if that makes sense, as far as being an upstanding citizen of your community. Number three is there a million people that know you're at that appointment. But with all that being said, you should probably tell someone where you're at. I've gotten yeah. flat tires on the road. So not even should you That's tell true. someone where you're at because of like safety reasons, because you never know what happens, you know? And so I wouldn't overly concern myself with that aspect. I have been doing this for six years, I have not had one bad report. And then frankly, if I could be really honest with you, you can't hide bad information on the internet. So if like bad things were happening to signing agents, you'd probably see 18 YouTube videos on it. You'd probably see 14 TikToks on it. I see, you know what I mean? Like if somebody yeah. had a bad experience, someone would make a video about that bad boy in a second. So I'm gonna end with this, dude. Every single home needs a notary to close. That's not a sales pitch. Because you don't know how to get the business doesn't mean there's not a notary right next door to you making $150 for watching somebody sign their name a hundred times. No experience is needed, not even a degree, a notary commission and some knowledge. So whether you want to learn that knowledge on your own, which you can, and frankly, I encourage you to, but if not, it'd be an absolute honor of mine to have you join the loan signing system family. So be blessed. Hopefully I see some of you guys in class, Lorraine, RJ, everybody else. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you.